We continue to follow breaking news out of western New York tonight where at least 10 people have been shot and killed at a grocery store in Buffalo. It is no longer an active shooting with the suspected gunman now in police custody. Reporter Ed Dranch from WKBW has been on the scene all afternoon. Here's a little bit of what he has witnessed. Uh, inside the supermarket, um, many of them are at a loss. Many of them are going home without their relatives tonight. Many of these people inside just doing their food shopping. It's unfathomable that somebody would come in here and open fire. Police are asking you to stay away from this scene, uh, but obviously many people who have a connection here are inevitably drawn to the scene to try and develop information in real time. This area in particular is a community. This is a place not too far from a firehouse, from a fire station. Uh, and obviously when we talk about uh, the gun issue that we've all been seeing across the country, Buffalo is not immune to that. We've seen a number of shootings. Uh, and, and of course, uh, when it comes down to uh, the idea of gun violence, Buffalo has certainly seen its fair share. Uh, I want you to take a look at these uh, black vehicles that are coming in here with their four ways flashing those minivans. Uh, if experience serves me right, uh, those two vans would be from the medical examiner's office. Uh, I spoke with one person here a little bit earlier who told me that their loved one was inside the supermarket uh, and was confronted by the shooter and that person was held at gunpoint by the shooter, begging for their lives. We don't know the condition of that person, but for these people who are still waiting for information, their hearts are racing, their blood is boiling, they are just hopeful uh, at this point. And that was reporter Ed Dranch from WKBW. The story still developing right now. We'll have another update for you at 6 o'clock. Of course, you can get constant updates at our website, ABC7NY.